please welcome Professor of Communication Nicholas Cole. As we come together to begin this commencement ceremony, the USC Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism acknowledges that our campus and our city are located on historical Tovangar, the land of the indigenous communities of the Los Angeles Basin. And so let us take a moment to pay our respects and gratefully acknowledge the native peoples on whose ancestral homelands we gather, as well as the diverse and vibrant native communities who make their home here today. They have stewarded this sacred land throughout the generations, and we honor their traditions, identities, and stories which are far too often ignored and erased. Thank you. Assembled guests, please be seated for the processional.
please welcome our banner bearer, Leo Sorensen, who is assisted by Luke Scorzel, and our flag bearer, Crystal Saldana. Please welcome school directors Hector Amaya and Gordon Stables. Please welcome our USC Annenberg faculty. Please welcome Dean Willow Bay and USC Annenberg alumnae Rachel Scott and Ms. Shauna Thomas as they lead our graduate processional.
please welcome USC Annenberg Dean Willow Bay. attention to you, my very special class of 2022. Can we just give it up for the band one more time? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Congratulations, graduates. Welcome to the 2022 USC Annenberg Commencement Ceremony. Thank you all so much for joining us in this very special day. And to those of you joining us on the live stream, it is fantastic to have you here with us. I got a text from my son, Will, who was watching and said, Mom, dance. <laughs> Today is an incredibly special day, obviously, to have you all gathered here. But we are going to award over 1,000 graduates, 1,025 to be precise, their degrees from the USC Annenberg School for Communication and journalism. So I would say that makes today, and of course, all of you in this class of 2022, so very, very special. It is an honor and a joy for us to be sharing this day with two of our remarkable alumni, Ms. Rachel Scott and Ms. Shauna Thomas. Also, here on stage with us, I would like to acknowledge your professors, the USC Annenberg faculty. And of course, love them all. And our staff, wait, 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 we have to also acknowledge, please, our staff for helping to make this extraordinary day so wonderful. As you know, they do each and every day for all of you. And then we'd also like to give a special thanks to our Voice of God, James Vasquez. Some of you may know him. Besides the Voice of God, he also has a day job, um, important day job as our Associate Dean of Operations. So James, thank you. As we celebrate this special class of 2022, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the people who have shared this journey with you, who have challenged you, who have encouraged you, who have loved you every step of the way. Whether you're here with us today in person or you are watching at home, please stand up so we can recognize you. Mr. and Mrs. Scott, I think you can stand up and take a bow too. You all know that you're an incredibly important part of the USC Annenberg community. Your love and support have contributed so much to the success of our graduates. And of course, the spouses and children, sisters, brothers, aunts, and uncles, our graduates thank you, and so do we. And now to you, our 2022 graduates. Earning a USC Annenberg degree is a singular accomplishment by any standard. But let's just admit, this was quite a journey, and not the one any of us expected for you. Yet, you demonstrated truly remarkable grit and grace, fortitude and agility. I am sure learning many more things than you thought you would. And you know what? We all did. We know that you are well prepared for both the daunting challenges and the enormous opportunities that lie ahead. We also know that you have developed a very special skill here at USC Annenberg. Now, it may not be one that you'll put on your resume, but it is one that will serve you well as you lead our fields into this turbulent, but also into this very exciting future. It is an ability to listen, to listen actively, 
looking for information and insight, to listen for the truth, to listen critically for what's not being said as much as for what is, to listen with compassion and empathy, listening by putting yourself in someone else's shoes. And at this moment when the voices of many still go unheard, that skill of listening has never been more important. So take that skill and use it to propel your journey as successful professionals and scholars and to enrich your lives with meaning and purpose. And take all that you've heard and all that you will continue to hear to press for meaningful change, for a more just and equitable world, and for the future you all deserve. And use it in your very new role as USC Annenberg alumni to fulfill, to fulfill the vision of our founder, Walter Annenberg, who charged us all with using communication to be of service to all people. We will, as we are today, be cheering you on. Congratulations. As Wallace Annenberg said of the school that bears her name, a great school of journalism and communication leads the way. It serves as a laboratory for change. But it doesn't just anticipate the future, it wills it into being. And so you, our very special class of 2022, embody that future. As you look ahead, we know you're well equipped because at USC Annenberg we encourage you not to fit existing molds, but to forge new, and yes, unconventional ones. The two USC Annenberg alumni joining us on stage today are proof of just that. Shauna Thomas and Rachel Scott are two women who right now, in real time, are transforming broadcast news in front of and behind the camera. Together, they truly represent the promise of our industry, and they are willing a brighter future into being. So it is my enormous honor to begin by introducing award-winning journalist, producer, and media executive, Shauna Thomas. A highly accomplished journalist and an innovator, both in traditional and new media, Shauna earned her master's in broadcast journalists from us in 2006. She spent a decade at NBC News, rising from news associate to senior producer of Meet the Press, before moving to Vice News, where she served as Washington bureau chief. Then, as a content development executive for Quibi, she developed short-form news programming with NBC News, CBS News, and BBC News for the mobile platform. Now, as executive producer for CBS Mornings, and I will tell you she got up early this morning on East Coast time to do a little producing, Shauna has been leading a 125-person team in their Times Square studio as they reimagine the program's content while holding on to their goal of impeccable storytelling. Shauna's work across her career has been widely honored, including four Emmys, a Peabody, a Gracie, and two Scripps Howard Awards. So please join me in welcoming USC Annenberg alumna, Shauna Thomas. Thank you, Willow, for making me sound awesome. I appreciate that. Um, and also thank you to USC Annenberg for helping me get to where I am. I got on a plane and flew, from here, here, flew here across the country to do three fabulous things. The first one I want to do is say congratulations to all my fellow New Trojan alumni. Congratulations to you. Now, I, I suspect things have only gotten more rigorous since the last time I wore an unflattering graduation gown, so you deserve a round of applause for making it through USC Annenberg. And as an aside, I believe the program here actually works. I think I owe a lot of my career to the foundation of skills and ethics that this school taught me. And the professors like Willis Seidenberg back there, and, <laughs> and Serena Cha, who helped also lead ATVN when I was here, they both have helped me along the way. I also still have a lot of friends from my time here and a lot of memories that involve bags of wine and football that aren't quite appropriate for these festivities, but you can ask me about them later. 
Now, the second fabulous announcement I bring is one from the company I work for, Paramount. One thing I think all of us want is for this business of journalism to be more representative. The more diversity we have in newsrooms, the better we are able to cover this world, and the more successful we will all be. And when it comes to the Latinx population, we are... When it comes to our Latinx population, newsrooms are not diverse enough. According to the last census, this country is 18.7% Latinx. But, yeah, you can, you can move. But when you look at non-Spanish language television newsrooms, they're only about 7.8%. Not quite representative enough. Which is why USC Annenberg, CBS News, and our parent company Paramount are committed to investigating, sorry, are committed to investing in the graduate education of Latinx students. The Paramount Latinx Diversity and Journalism Scholarship is supported by a $1 million gift designed to cover the yearly tuition costs for Latinx students to enroll in one of the great graduate journal journalism programs housed here. That's a good thing, $1 million. <laughs> Now, that is combined with the HBCU Diversity and Journalism Scholarship, which I believe was announced last year. With that, Paramount is providing $2 million of endowed support to USC Annenberg. I believe it's a real commitment to advancing newsroom diversity. Now, I'm lucky. I had a scholarship that allowed me the space to get a graduate education here. And then I went from Annenberg to a minority recruiting program at NBC to where I am now as the executive producer of CBS Mornings, 7 a.m. Eastern Time and Pacific, starring Gail King, Tony DeCopel, and Nate Burleson. Please watch. <laughs> but I would like to live in a world where luck isn't, an, isn't as involved in success. Programs like what is being announced today will hopefully help with that. And I've got one more job to do and that's to introduce another graduate of this institution, who herself is fabulous. Her name is Rachel Scott. <laughs> now, you've probably seen her on TV or YouTube or whatever your preferred social media platform is. She reports for ABC News from Capitol Hill as well as on the campaign trail. Here's what you might not know. Rachel's first day as a congressional correspondent was January 6th, 2021. Now, I was not up there that day. I watched their coverage from home, and I also watched the special ABC News put together in the aftermath. And it's clear she met the reporting challenge fearlessly on that day. It was dangerous and emotional for everyone who witnessed those events up close. And every minute of that insurrection was a reminder for those of us who watched it from afar like I did, that our democracy is fragile. It also reminds us of the importance of journalism. What I get to do every day at CBS News, what Rachel gets to do at ABC News, is show and explain the world we live in to people so they can make decisions, so they can be informed, so some can choose to make the world a better place. It's a privilege and it is a necessity. That's worth applauding for too. And that is something... And that is something in many forms and fashions that all of y'all are going to get to do and be a part of. Now, before Rachel was on the Hill, she was here, going to classes, working as an executive producer for ATVN. She is also a proud AKA sister, and now as a graduate, <laughs> I knew that would happen. And now as a graduate, she is here to tell y'all to fight on. I have a voice after cheering for that marching band. Thank you, Shauna, for that special introduction. You are a trailblazer for all of us in the industry, and it's an honor to be up here with you today. And graduates, I'm going to say this, I give you a one-time pass to watch CBS Mornings, then you turn that channel right back to ABC News on Good Morning America, okay? To my role model, Dean Willow Bay, a mentor who has pulled out a chair for me when I felt like I didn't have a seat at the table, thank you for your unwavering commitment to the next generation of storytellers and innovators, and thank you for the very special honor to be here today. 
To the Annenberg faculty, many of whom were my own professors, guess who's back? <laughs> Didn't think you'd see me so soon, huh? And most importantly, my fellow Trojans, Annenberg class of 2022, you made it. It feels so good to be back home with you all today, and I'm going to go off script for just one second because this is a very big tent, but there is not a tent big enough for the joy in this room, okay? The only thing better than seeing your faces was to see your parents, your loved ones, your aunts sitting behind you. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I got here at 8 a.m., and there were already people here waiting to see you walk across this stage, so please give it up for the people who have sacrificed so much for you to sit where you are now. And after three hours, parents, now you got to listen to me. So uh, <laughs> it worked out. Well, you know, when Willow first called me to extend this invitation, I did what every full-fledged adult would do, and I immediately called my parents. My dad answered the phone, and I said, Dad, you're never going to believe it. I'm going to be a commencement speaker at USC. My dad said, wow, USC could pick anyone. <laughs> I said, yeah, sure could. He said, well, didn't Oprah do it one year? I said, yeah, yeah, sure did. He said, well, what are you going to do when they figure out you're not Oprah? <laughs> Leave it to your parents to keep you humble, right? So let me just get right out in front of it. Unlike many commencement speakers who have come before me, I do not have a 50-year-long resume to tell you about. I don't have stories about the good old days, and I can't tell you what it was like before the internet existed. But I can tell you one thing. I know exactly what it's like to be sitting in your shoes right now. Because not too long ago, I was you. Not too long ago, I was navigating the campus on my final days as a USC student, carrying what felt like 75 pounds of camera gear, and just hoping to God I can make it to class without getting hit by a bike. <laughs> oh, and yes, I remember that feeling in the pit of your stomach when you realized the next time you walk through those doors of the Annenberg Media Center, it won't be as a student, it will be as alumni. The goosebumps on your arms, the rhythm of your heartbeat, the chill down your spine when you heard that USC fight song play on your graduation day. And I remember sitting exactly where you guys are right now. I was next to someone who had one too many shots at the 9-0 the night before. Y'all know who you are, mm -hmm, I see you. Ain't shy about it, okay par parents, that is a bar, that is a bar. But in all seriousness, today you have earned the gold on your resume. You are graduating from the most prestigious school for communication and journalism in the nation, and you have earned it. <laughs> graduating from this university remains one of my proudest accomplishments. But it almost didn't happen. In fact, 11 years ago, I was rejected from USC. Yeah, I know, it hurts. Still sings, y'all, still sings. Like so many of you sitting here today, this was my dream school. Senior year of high school, you couldn't tell me that I wasn't gonna get into this university. So when word got out that USC was mailing out their acceptance letters, I raced home. And sitting in my mailbox was this tiny envelope from USC. It was a rejection letter. It was my rejection letter. So naturally, I appealed the decision. And guess what? I was rejected again. Still didn't get in. I was devastated, but most of all, I was ashamed. I felt like a failure. And as I was wandering down my road of self-pity, my mom essentially said something that every black child has heard at one point. Fix your face. It's a phrase that's used in our community that's code for, it's time to move on. It's time to change your perspective. She said, this was not meant to be your blessing, but if you keep looking backwards, you are going to miss yours. And that's the thing that no one tells you about failure. Nestled in those deep corners of self-pity and doubt is often a blessing waiting in the wings. But you'll miss it if you're looking the other way. So if any 
anything, failure is testing one thing. How bad do you really want it? For me, I wanted it so bad that I spent the next year focused on academics, getting the best grades in my life, applying to every single internship, and my blessing did come at 19 years old as one of the youngest interns at the White House. I sat in on presidential interviews. I, wa I watched White House correspondents challenge the press secretary. It's where I fell in love with political journalism. And though I couldn't see it at the time, that rejection letter was actually pushing me closer to new opportunities, to a dream I had not yet realized. And when I finally got into this great university as a transfer student, shout out to all the transfer students, not only was I thankful, I was very thankful. I could better align my steps with the path that I wanted to pursue. My Trojan family, do not be ashamed of failure. Be grateful for the direction it is pointing you in. Do not be terrified of rejection, but fear missing the blessing that is waiting for you in the wings because you're so focused on looking backwards. Eleven years later, I wouldn't trade that rejection letter for anything. And that is the beautiful thing about being with you all here today. We all took different paths to get here, but we all have made it. Look no further than Leo Sorensen, who is sitting here in his cap and gown today. Leo was born with cerebral palsy and a visual impairment, but he did not let that stop him because for the past three years, he's been leading class lectures, sparking a dialogue about disabilities. And today, Leo is graduating with a bachelor's in public relations. Leo, today, you have made it. A mother, a caregiver to her own mother? You may know her because she works here in the Annenberg Admissions Office. And 30 years, 30 years after graduating from college, she decided to go back to school to get her master's degree. Bridget, it is never too late to become a Trojan. Today, you have made it. And Lupe Yanetes. There she is. Lupe randomly messaged me on Instagram to tell me that she also got rejected from USC. I was humbled when she shared that when she applied to the graduate program, she wrote about my story in her personal statement. Lupe's father was detained by immigration and customs enforcement officers. She says the van left before she had a chance to say goodbye. She shouted, begging for him to stay. Lupe, the next time you see your father, you won't be saying, Papa, don't go. Instead, you'll be the first in your family with a master's degree to say, Papa, we did it. Lupe, today you have made it. You have all pushed past challenges by betting on yourself. You have redefined what is possible and you have succeeded on your own terms. And for that, I am so proud to be part of your Trojan family. But like family, I gotta be honest with you. What's on the other end of that diploma will not always be easy. At times, it will be absolutely terrifying. You are entering an industry that is changing by the minute, racing to keep up with a world that is consuming information in shorter amounts of time, on new apps and platforms where posts and presence are now heavily integrated in a job that once only required a reporter's notebook and a sharp mind. And so to succeed in this space, it will require diving headfirst into a path that may be unconventional. It will require leaning into every single tool that Annenberg has armed you with to innovate, to create, to inform, to question, to discover. And to succeed, it might require doing something different. Not everyone will trust in your vision. 
Just a few weeks before I graduated, I decided to take a risk. I turned down a report, reporter job in Fayetteville, Arkansas, to instead move to one of the most expensive cities in the world, New York. <laughs> Though I wanted to be on camera, that's not how my career would begin. I would be a production associate at the bottom of the ladder with two big assignments, making copies and making coffee. When I called the news director in Arkansas to let her know that I would not be taking the position, she said to me, this would be the biggest mistake of my early career. She said, you'll be living in a box and calling in a year begging for a job. She was right about one thing. I did live in a box. Have y'all seen the New York City apartments? They are small. The wisdom, though, that she was trying to share was based on a status quo that was set decades before I even entered the room. That there was a traditional model, a tried and true method. My fellow Trojans, let my story serve as evidence that you can shake things up. Sometimes our decisions are so clouded by the status quo that we talk ourselves out of a great opportunity, convince the best option is the safest one, the most practical, the one with the best track record. Today, I challenge you to question what is driving your decisions. And if it's fear of doing something different, then get out of your own way. I wish I could have proven that news director wrong in a couple of months. Believe me, I was dying to say I told you so. But I would spend the next few years working late nights, overnights, early mornings, you name it. And the only time I ever second-guessed myself was when I started to look at what everybody else was doing around me. Honestly, that is the hardest part about graduating from USC Annenberg. It's the excellence. You're surrounded by it, from your faculty, to your classmates, to the alumni. And it's so easy to get caught up in what everybody else is doing. So let me just say this. Comparison is a trap. I spent so much, I spent so much of my first few years focused on the great things that everybody else was doing that I couldn't see the opportunities that were right in front of me. One of my favorite sayings is, you go from room to room, searching for the diamond necklace that is already around your neck. Trust your own path, lean into it. When I used to run track, my coach always noticed that I was losing races when I turned my head to see who was coming up from behind me. I would slow down. I would lose sight of the finish line. Your future is too bright not to be focused on what is in front of you. Free yourself from measuring your success by how quickly everybody else is getting it done. When your goal is to learn as much as you can, you will be surprised by how quickly you will get there. Here are some other things that I learned in my first few years on the job. Invest in a good raincoat. Believe it or not, it does rain outside of California. <laughs> the best way to get a promotion is by doing your current job really well. No one wins a game by complaining or gossiping about the other team. They win by doing the work. And on your toughest days, push yourself. And it may be hard, but really push yourself to find something to be grateful for. For me, that moment is always looking at the line of people waiting to get into the Capitol. The visitors outside the White House gates, just trying to get a glimpse, a peek at what's on the other side. It's always a reminder that even on my hardest days, there's an immense amount of privilege and responsibility that I carry with my press credential. And when you're the newcomer, the junior member on the team, the imposter syndrome can kick in. That feeling of, am I good enough? Do I really deserve it? Is this White House press credential really gonna let me into the actual White House? Do not let the narrative you tell yourself distract from the reality of all the work you put in to get there. I stopped asking myself if I fit in and started to realize it is far better to stand out. <laughs> Significant opportunities in your career will come when you least expect it. Last June, Russian President Vladimir Putin held a press conference after his meeting with President Biden in Geneva. 
And so just 48 hours out, I was assigned to go. What I didn't know at the time is that I would be one of the only American journalists in the room. Annenberg taught me that our jobs are to ask tough questions, no matter what country you are in or what political leader you are in front of, to press for accountability, to press for answers. And so here I was, suddenly confronted with a situation where I had to put that into practice with a man who was known around the world for being a murderous dictator. I said, okay, Rachel, here we go. I asked President Putin why all of his political rivals were dead, in prison, or poisoned. What are you so afraid of, I said. And so to the journalism students graduating here today, there will be a time where you are before a world leader where you need to ask a tough question. Remember that the questions you ask matter. Spend time doing the research. Listen. And when someone doesn't answer your question the first time, hold firm and follow up. I'd like to close with one last story from my time here at USC. I was speaking at a conference, sharing my experiences as an Annenberg student, and I quoted Diane Sawyer, who had just visited the newsroom a few days earlier. She said, journalism is the business of changing the world. When I finished, it was time to take questions. A man stood up and he said, I take issue with what you are saying. Journalism is not the business of changing the world. You are not a doctor. You won't find a cure for cancer, solve world hunger. I froze. I didn't know what to say. It was the first and the last time I let anyone question the power of storytelling, the power that I had to make an impact on the world. I didn't have the words then, but I do now. Where will we be as a country if journalists and photographers never captured John Lewis and Amelia Boynton being beaten on the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma for the right to vote? It's those images that gripped a nation, that led to voting rights legislation. Where will we be as a world today if journalists were not risking their lives to document the brutal horrors of Russia's invasion of Ukraine? Would we really know the extent of the violence? Do not let anyone question the power of storytelling, the power of your own story. I am standing before you just several generations removed from slavery, and every single day, I walk into the Capitol or a White House built by slaves. I am a two-time USC reject, standing before you giving a commencement address at USC. You can't tell me that our stories don't have power. I read it in the letters I've received from all over the world. A woman named Kelsey who told me that my question to President Putin brought her to tears, that as an attorney it reminded her to be confident as a woman asking tough questions in the courtroom. To Siobhan in Ireland who wrote me, if you ever thought your message was not reaching the masses, I am proof that it is. Or the students studying in Geneva who figured out where my live shot was hours after I asked President Putin that question and they gathered outside of my hotel room shouting freedom of the press. What I've come to learn is that it doesn't matter how far you climb, how high you rise, there will be doubters along the way. Even at your highest moments, people will make you second guess just how remarkable you really are. They will call your success luck. They'll label it an accident. They'll confuse all those late nights you pulled with being an overnight success. Others might equate your optimism with your youth, mistake your persistence for stubbornness, dismiss your potential as inexperience, and some may even be bold enough to tell you that the stories you tell cannot change the world. Remember that you are worthy. When faced with doubt, when you feel like you're the only one in the room with your story, I want you to take a moment and think of everyone whose shoulders you stand on. I want you to remember today, this moment, surrounded by your loved ones, your fellow Trojan family, the graduates sitting by your side. 
Even though they may not be in the same room as you are, they will be trailblazing a path for others in other rooms, in other spaces. That is the power of the Trojan family. That is the power of Annenberg. Find comfort in knowing that together we can all drive change. We can all make the spaces where we sit better. We can all be in the business of changing the world. Thank you, class of 2022. Congratulations, my fellow Trojans, and fight on. And now, please welcome Hector Amaya, Director of the School of Communication, and Gordon Stables, Director of the School of Journalism, to assist Dean Bay in conferring the degrees. Hello, my name is Gordon Stables, and I'll be your Master of Ceremonies today as we recognize the hard work of each and every one of our graduates. We will begin by recognizing our doctorate in communication graduates. Then we will present the master's degrees from our School of Communication and Journalism, followed by the bachelor's degrees from our School of Journalism and Communication. After you have received your diploma, please return to your seat and remain seated until the ceremony concludes. Parents and families, please do not block the aisles. We have arranged for professional photography, and each of you will receive a complimentary photo courtesy of Dean Bay. <laughs> to assist with the name ratings, please join me in welcoming our graduate programs, uh, Director of our Media Center, Professor Christina Bellantoni, <laughs> and Communication Management Program Co-Director, Professor Ben Lee. Now please join me in welcoming the Director of Doctoral Studies, Professor Taj Frazier, to present the diplomas to our doctoral students. Rihanna Alby. <laughs> Jillian Kwong. Sarah Clayton. <laughs> Olivia Gonzalez. Lauren Solwa. Soledad Altrudi. Okay. Soledad Altrudi. Lauren Levitt. Let's give a round of applause for our PhD graduates. Now we'll recognize our School of Communication master's students. Please join me in welcoming the interim co-directors of our newest master's program in digital media management, Professors Joseph Ataya and Freddie Nager. Dean and Director, we now present to you the graduates in Digital Media Management. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Ready? 
Brad Christie. Brian Compos. Crystal Soldania. Let's give a round of applause for our first ever graduates of the Digital Media Manager Program. Please join me in welcoming Communication Management Program Interim Co-Director, Professor Courtney Payne. Dean and Director, we now present to you the graduates in communication management. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Brandon Sullivan. Davis, yes. Leslie Rumal. Stephanie Torres. Leslie Rumal. Alicia Vargas Ferris. Lindsay Cook. Gordon Kwan. Sean Chayang. Rwanda Falanalia. Samantha Nunez. Liliana Rivera. April Elba. Jasmine Kodrick. Hiju Kim. Anthony Portia. June Chang. Thomas Jordan McLaughlin. Jianning Chao. Brittany Walsh. Bridget Johnson Smith. Helen Haber. Miranda Pierfax. Olga Echegueras Kalasluke. Jessica Ruiz. Daria Majalesi. Hannah Refik. Mikey Lachika. Michael Mafoyi. Katie Perez. Kanika Whipple. Carla Gutierrez. James Coda. Luisa Suyento. Stephanie Lasanti. Ashley Narciso. Natalie Omachin. Kais Regetta. Colerlyn Middlebrun. Melissa Ann Mitchell. Shelby Wizarek. Ashley Prefit. Sydney Jean. Michaela Lindemann. Jason Martin. Julianne Springman Wicks, Wickies. Gabrielle Fortinol. Victoria Morris. Singy Liu. 
Victoria Morris. I Isaiah Castaneda. Caitlin Ann Dong. Para Blake Paloma. Lorely Arisbeth Martinez. Tatiana Richard. Christian Briano. Yuji. Dallas Riviero. Daisalyn Neely. Michaela Branch. Annabelle Marquis. Kenya Payne. Sarah Kramer. David Mendoza. Julia Stelter. Isabella Penegos. Leslie Hernandez Tlaltenchi. Karim Tellis. Sarah Begis. Lorenzo Escobar. Kevin Maxwell. Gabrielle Supley. Andres Bonilla. Tatiana Goldman. Emma Ho. Shannon Stone. Camille Richardson. Stephanie Colassi. Rita Guzar. Melissa Encino. Jasmine McGee. Ashley Lucas Holly. Sean I mean. Ramon Essel. I mean. Ashley Saddle. Wang Shui Ching. Emily Leonard. Alyssa Gerritsen. Karina Romero. Tanya Khan. Aaron Hippolito. De Leon West. Jacqueline Sai. Margaret Kaler. Nadia Nguyen. Brenna McCallum. Chelsea May Tarug. Paige Hammonds. Jacqueline Martinez. Shannon Scully. Jacqueline Sado. Eileen Chen. Sabrina Camacho. Shelly Yu. Tina Krong. Ming Yi Sun. Luis Rahoa. Luliao Tang. Jackson Martinez. Ling Feng Ding. Melanie Zhao. An Chi Hu. Yi Yao Guo. Shi Zhen Qiao. Lizzie Liu. Xing Yuan Shen.
Elisa Jordan Trello Holt. Jacqueline Montoya. Bridget Mota. Carissa Janelle Amador. Elisa Santa Maria. Taylor Shoneman. Drake Santa Maria. Lindsay Mi Williams. Milton Williams the third. Ashley Fee. Brian DeLacy. Rohan May Garage. Lou Gao. Madeline Saldana. Lori Zhang. Kayla Spore. <laughs> Melissa Coulter. Chani Dosai. Mary Kit Ani Vialon King. Kennedy Laurel Creighton. Octavia Sahau. Carissa Jackson. Tyler Carr. Sophia Ray Hausch. Orly Shapiro. Becky Huang. Stephanie Brayex. Katie Kobelman. Ryan Peck. Elizabeth Sams. Destiny Alexa Ponce. Athena Fleming. Lauren Elizabeth Sanchez. Christina Whittemore. Christine Whittemore. Michael Alhambra Tolan. Jacob Vandegrift. Camilla Quella. Timothy Hampton. Victoria Sino. Skylar J. Walpert. Lucio Rodriguez. Deirdre Strickland. Ria Kalmans. Aaron Anderson. Gregory Christopher Richmond. Si Qi Jiang. Cecilia Yu Xing Liu. Yue Shen. Xue Ying Chen. Preslin Tan.
Roxanne Hippolito. <laughs> Olivia Lee. Wilson Gomez. Rachel Martin. Taylor May. Ashley Biard. Noel Ray Stoops Crobo. Nicole Montella. El Elia Albert. Kimberly Carolikas. Angela Kelly. Caleb Rosenfield. Megan Tawny. Natalie Meltzer. Venus Morgan Sarah Beggy Let's give a round of applause for all of our communication management graduates Now please join me in welcoming Digital Social Media Program Director, Professor Daniela Barafio. <laughs> Dean and Director, we now present to you graduates in the Digital Social Media Program. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Monica Cooper. Nicole Pizzotti. Daniela Curry. Shannon Murphy. Cameron Gaskin. Maura Quinn. Haley Ma Kell. Sam Cromwell. Jessica Murdoch. Kiadi Star Henley. Delaney Howard. James Wesley Kadishan. Louisa Aquino. Zero May. Samantha McGrath. Yao Yao. Emily Kimura. Zirancia. Jialing Huang. Molly Limebach. C. Lawrence Leong. Laura Nikowitz. Zijani Lee. Samantha Gee. Wei Ching. Wenyi Zhou. Michelle Han. Chini Chenang. Jia Yili. Senao he, Hao. He Gao. Yu Han He. Ban Ro Ding. 
Mary Carmen Fedroza. Jamin Guo. Rochelle Z. Zhao Zhang. Olivia Rose Tuff Mowry. Candice Sam. Wen Qian Zheng. Damira Kamarova. Yu Qi Cao. Ila Ayi Nash. Minash. Shao Wei Wang. Nian Yui He. Lin Jun Guo. Graduates, as you come across the stage, please use the railing as you descend. Zachary Ding Zhang. Christelle Lam. Osama Zaidi. Dan Yang. Oin Lola Oyagunle. Yingmin Fang. Ikane Ezi. Ming Zhang. Federica Tovar. Let's give a round of applause for all of our digital social media graduates. Now let's please welcome our Global Communication Program co-directors, Professors David Craig and Patricia Riley. <laughs> Dean and Director, we now present to you the graduates in Global Communication. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Ikane Ezi. Eloise Petruco. Paul Emil Doru. Madeline Schulz. Nada Abulekea. Helena Domes. Georgia Cronus Marx. Skyler Eisenhart. <laughs> Sophia Brick Verga. Gabriella Feingold. Justina Gorska. Coco Zhang. Cheng Yixie. Wenhui Shang. Racing Song. Yuki Zhang. Min Racing Song Yu Hong Jiang Ming Rei Li Zigi Ding Stephanie Yu Si Yu Hua they are more. Yui Lin Sai. Wen Ting Ao. Jain Lee. 
，亚新庄。乔乔 ，Zayan Shu， 云房张，于震 ，Divya Aleti， 陈慧度。Ishan Narayan, Ping Hang Wang, Ryan Jimenez, Lin Fei Liu, Yuka Katsumata, Alexandra Garcia, Georgia Samuel, Zhen Yu Zhang. Alicia Zawiri, Marta Erani Fernandez, Se Fan, Junlin O. Sangil Jung, Nan Ha. Grace Wang, Li Li Wen Su, Anki Ju. Yuro Shen, Yuro Shen, Jason Chen. Let's give a round of applause for all of our Global Communication graduates. Now please welcome Public Diplomacy Program Director, Professor Robert Banks. Dean and Director, we now present to you the graduates in Public Diplomacy. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Valeria Ortiz. Juan Jane. Erica Waniko Johnson. K A E Ho. Olaria Guerrero. Yang Chen Zi Ho. Jolie Ali. <laughs> Tian Yu Wang. Destiny Freeze. <laughs> Yu Hong Hoang. Desmond Jordan, Jiaji Ru, Reese Lakeke Aguila, Lei Zhang, Eduardo Rodriguez Hayamelo, John Hurley. Ian Wang, Charles Conberry,
Lole Bruno. Let's give a round of applause for all of our public diplomacy graduates. Congratulations to all of our School of Communication graduates here today. And now the School of Journalism. Please welcome Professor Robert Hernandez representing the faculty of the Masters in Journalism program. Dean and Director, we now present to you the Masters graduates in Journalism. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Anthony Roberto. Haja Ba. Jason, Jason Chua. Carolyn Chelsea Hilton. Shayla Escudero. Deja Dorsey. Victoria Hunt. Stacy Ramsey. Oda Rojas. Mariah Hill. Loja Mystery. Good. Aaliyah Esther. Jessica Thomas. Esther Quintanilla. Bulashade Anna Mom. Perry Bud. Anna Babiak. Dua Yunjum. Wilco Martinez Cachero. Tanisha Sina. Sydney Charles. Alice Gelba. Grace Harmon. Alexandria Applegate. Lawrence Dow. Jeremy Lindenfeld. Ayana Martinez. Clara Privy Duty. Tatum Larson. Sophia Gonzalez. Joseph Bailiwag. I'm good to Lily Lingori. Lita Lee. Ching Feng Lee. Intao Wu. Nicholas Kazam. Ishan Chen. Omar Rias Benitez. Kevin Maxwell. Seiju Zhang. Lucia Ruan. Ruan Gao. Gabriela Castagna. Madeline Horowitz. Guadalupe Uranus. Cassandra Espera Bieria. Marilyn Perra. Nicholas Martinez. Eileen Rebol. Gabriel Levy. Destiny Cobos Torres. Jacqueline Pinedo. Chloe Clark. Alina Botose. Let's give a round of applause for all of our Masters in Journalism graduates. 
Now please welcome Professor Ben Carrington, representing the faculty of the Specialized Journalism Program. Dean and Director, we now present to you the graduates in Specialized Journalism. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Gabrielle Chanel. Tiffany Mancarios. Yusra Fazan. Nicole Sheeran. Yusra Fazan. Halimon Sa Anderson. Sarah El Ansari. Skylar Treppel. Jamali Irene Hammond. Kenneth McCoy. Michaela Nicole Bastinelli. Draco Haushin Guan. Patrick Walker. Dominic Diamico. Isabella Zavralisi. Juliet Smith. Maite Carrero. Michael Goldberg. Charisma Madrang. Madeline Kiros Hayden. Jesse Mechanic. Ashley Arona. Malika Singh. Andre Lazman Chavez. Haley Hazard. Anaja Smith. Vishnuri Vasudevan. Randy Vasquez. Renee Walden. Samuel Schwartz. <laughs> David Keeling the second. Hannah Kong. <laughs> Rachel Kisella. Ashley Elizabeth Conahan. Jack Mittemeyer. Matthew Kai Grady. Karan Singh. Hanu Q. Maki. Let's give a round of applause for all of our specialized journalism graduates. Now please welcome Specialized Journalism for the Arts Program Interim Director, Professor Willa Seidenberg. <laughs> Dean and Director, we now present to you the graduates in Specialized Journalism for the Arts. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Evangeline Boros. Peter Giralgi. Ryan Coleman. Grayson Kelly. Sarah Wolfson. Haley Griffin. Trevor Capable. Stephen Vargas. <laughs> Wesley Stenzel. Jessica Doherty. Let's give a round of applause for all of our specialized journalism of the arts graduates. Now please welcome Professor of Public Relations and Advertising Program Directors, Professors Burghardt Tenderick and Jennifer Flodo. <laughs> Dean and Director, we now present to you the graduates in Strategic Public Relations and Public Relations and Advertising. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Katie Ryan. Cherry Wang. Yeah. 
Brianna Darling. Mason Bacanis. Samantha Balcaceres. Miranda Vigan. Molly Oretsky. Courtney Wise. Jonathan Chavez. Michael Bronstein. Lennon Torres. Tasha Mayes. Melissa Mancini. Jianwen Chen. Megan Nami. Yating Chen. Ariel Kali. Yiren Zhao. Isabel Fernandez Hanes. Alessandra Fusa Poli. Yuhenang Zhang. Hajia Kamel. Shile Jing. Tamara Ingyang. Jiang Hu. Boki Modugai. Yizen Zhang. Jonah Yankee. Sierra Weissman. Miriam Fuentes. Madeline Leon. Chea Lee. Su Yu Zhang. Zhi Yi Chen. Zhi Qian Zhang. Let's give a round of applause for all of our strategic public relations and public relations and advertising graduates. Congratulations to all of our Graduate School of Journalism graduates here today. And now for the undergraduate degrees. Please join me in welcoming our name readers for our undergraduate degree programs, Professors Jennifer Flodo and Keith Plocek. And please welcome director of our undergraduate journalism program, Professor Rebecca Haggerty. <laughs> Dean and director, we now present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Journalism. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Riley Flynn. <laughs> Mia Elizabeth Ross. Kimia Rubar. No. Isabella Valle. Trevor Valle Trout. Marisa Zayed. I'm sorry. Michelle Mankoff. Mariah Jolene Pumphrey. Stephen Zlat Odlo. Emily Suris. Alexandra Graf. Alexis Francel. Grace Wagner. Jaylene Lopez. Elizabeth Barano. Nicole Antunian.
Elizabeth Barano. Katherine Auerbach. Sinead Chang. Luke Scorzel. Lola Akinlade. Amy Lynn Altman. Krissa Lucas. Presley Jean Baker. Camry Guest. Adam Lev Tolson. Emily Bonilla. Olivia Korish. Alexis Gebhardt. Brett Chody. Andres Guarron. Jacqueline Andrade. Enzo Luna. Una Stanislavagic. Virginia Penoyer. Nicholas Burlett. Alexandra Rose Block. Eduardo Ocampo. Liza Diana Monasadian. Nathaniel Huen. Kendra Kalish. Michael Singh. Maya Abuzara. Quillen Sortino. Juan Vega de Soto. Leora Goldsmith. Olivia Novato. Caitlin Hernandez. Jillian Danielle Carol. Alexis Timko. Caroline Kusera. Remy Reardon. Julia Barton. Annalisa Cowie. Catherine Orihuela. Gabriella Taglioni. Savannah Rose Thomas. Isabel Odgers. Hala Khalifa. Dawson Michelle. Annie Wynn. Justin Hawkmuth. Hannah Taxer. Elizabeth Reisinger. Olivia Abrams. Elizabeth Reisinger. Ella Katz. Elisa O'Reilly. Hannah Geller. Beatrix Thomas. Mia Brower. Katherine Landis. Jillian Carminati. Megan Burke. Abby Baumgartner. Victoria Westover. Sheena Copernets. Olivia Ray Hernandez. Nathan Ackerman. Ronnie Hu. Noah Asher Camrus. Daniel Holm. 
David Joseph Ramirez. Pauline Viegas Woodley. Christian Colmenares. Aroe Chef. Myra Wu. Vance Thomas. Shiron Gao. Diego Ramos. Yuki Liang. Taj Mayfield. Anisha Banerjee. Trinity Anthony. Daniel Halpern. Paris Wise. Samuel Fian. Summer Rain Dahlquist 2K. L. Davidson. Charlotte Phillip. Oh, Shane. Okay. Jacob Shane Robinson. Oh. Andrea Click. Cassidy Michaela Brown. Jillian Russell. Ashley Humphreys. Julia Rosales Hill. Julia Mervis. Andre Orellana Hernandez. Peyton Perther. Tuesha Dixit. Riley Edwards. Angelica Kessler. Let's give a round of applause for all of our Bachelor of Arts and Journalism graduates. Please welcome back Professor Berghard Kenderick, Dean and Director. We now present to you the candidates in Bachelor of Arts in Public Relations. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Oh, it's Larry. Leo Sorensen. Anna Pan, Juliana Wang, Virgil Sum. John Bowie. Gabriel. Audrey Miller. Sarah Oon. Sophie Bina. Sharon Lynn. 
Samantha Brill. Audrey Cato. Sarah Tweed. Ariana Wafer. Felicia Willandari. Ilaria Quinton. Dewan Johnson. Alicia Wu. Sarah Parker. Brianna Sampson. Lena Schroeder. Joseph Hayes. Anna Marie Matskova. Olivia Lee. Zazu Lippert. Samantha Bloom. Madeline Studnicka. Madeline Libby. Brian Chow. Lauren Mason. Rosanna Martinez. Caitlin Anbar. Carmen Alvaro. Jenny Jiang. Tiran Reese Gallagher. June Kim. Sally Naomi Rakestraw. Gigi Wen. Carolyn Bellamy. Alexandra Esch. Bridget Murphy. Madeline Daniels. Jack Warnicky. Alexandra Wang. Amber Pugh. Quincy McElvey. Tiamoni Richards. Kate Simon. Ryan Tran. Joshua Dunst. <laughs> Camille Grace Inferna. Ryan Tran. Danica Ogden. Nancy Liu. Zachary Elgart. Ian Craig Solano. Sabrina Aziz. Stephen Gong. Brandon Willingham. Alejandra Lopez. Carolina Borges de Figueredo. Christopher Shin. Kevin Liu. Flora Zhang. Faith Bonds. Kelly Peterson. Woo! Riley Folsom. Yasmin Nozad. Ariana Sanders. Emily Adcock. Olivia DeFilippo. Madeline Burr. Quinn Furness. Ani Lay. Namita Shah. Whitney Tonkery. Carolyn Shello. Let's give a round of applause for all of our Bachelor of Arts of Public Relations graduates.
and for our final degree, the Communication Undergraduate Program. Please welcome the Director of the Communication Undergraduate Studies, Professor Allison Trope. Dean and Director, we now present to you the candidates for Bachelor of Arts in Communication. Graduates, please come forward as your name is called. Rosetta Hudson. Marissa Veneri. Audrey Davis Keller. Julia Rochelle Gregory. Georgia Carr. Camilla Dardashti. Olivia Mathis. Lauren Gadoshi. Lauren Gadoshi. Olivia Mathis. Liv Warshaw. Carlina Riggs. Avalyn Canoop. Amber McGee. Grayson Armfield. Scarlett Gordon. McKenna Kaylin Velasco. Isabel Jarvis. Alexandra Maria Galvan. Alini Tame Tinen Sarahashi. I did it. Bright Darden. Lori Gazarian. Carmen Abuzid. Tanya Avakian. William Hennis. Georgina Gregorian. Benjamin Harvey Allen. Julia Benani. Chandler Hunt. Annalise Orozco. Nicole Halverson. Elise Frisbee. Francesca Mackel. Zoe Noble. Jacqueline Hollander. Carson Marsh. Alexa Zarif. George Fair. Claire Katnick. Catherine Rebeck. Nicholas Anaya. Leah Marcus. Gregory Nasser. Vivian Lynn. Alexander Scott. Charmaine Z. Sibley Dickinson. Yalan Shen. Kazra Arumtrian. Kaylee McKay. William Hoffman. Emma Goad. Karina Miskowski. Sarah Sturick. Danny Maya Mendez. Roxy Rocker. Nastasia Karaglanona. Anam Faruki. Nastasia Karaglanona. Marissa Ivanzi. Juliet Buclore. Sarah Colleen Mills. Ileana Akiyoshi. Madeline LeClerc. Natalie Molinar. Audrey Zantzinger. Brianna Sieber. Audrey Zantzinger. Ariana Shapiro. Kyleen Luo. 
Grace Hammond. Freya Cole. Zachary Weiner. Anant Knott. Emma Foreman. Christian Patel. Valeria Karpenko. Sharon Zhang. Claire Colburn. Zania Meharuli. Avery Rickoff. Isabel Gonzalez. Ha Wang. Laurel Kuyan. Serena Huh. Prescott Potter. Maria Takagawa. Melanie Louie. Makai Reese. Olivia Farrell. Lauren Sundin. June Kim. June Kim. Madeline Aguirre. Anna Tessier. Nathaniel Rodriguez. Jacob Ye. Perian Karin. Joy Wada. Jonah Weisberg. Katie Sunada. Gabrielle Goldenberg. Jane Lee. Audrey Lee Mukadarzad. Cece Lynn. Kayla Yedisian. Sarah Ko. Cheyenne Track. Jessica Lamb. Roe Ruang. Jerika Iriyama. Kara Lee. Ami Hassan. Kristen Shim. Renee Von Steenbergen. Brandon Tam. Sabrina Shin. Carla Lum. Christian Michael Kwan. Harry Kim. Umbika Nogiali. Emanuela Uduiguama. Mia Islas. Habiba Kamel. Marmy Newton. Haya Hassan. Sophia Future. Haya Hassan. Henry Edward Zainer. Sarah Halbeck. Benjamin David Butcher. Joanna Marie Amores Sewegi. Kate Salerno. Trinity Ann Gomez. Ine Rose. Henri Takamoto. Tessa Malone. Henri Takamoto. Molly Walker. Emily Bornstein. Uh, Ellie Ellerstein. Amber Heldreth Miller. 
Devin Kleiner. Sundritri Kanu. Owen Higgs. Abigail Yosian. Teddy Williams. Al Shaddai Mumugeta. Masarajan. Zitong Wong. Chanel Kaleo. Kaleo. Sophie Rope. Jongun Christina Cho. Catherine Arabia. Dorothy Lee. Dorothy Lee. Selma Ewing. Sarah Kim. Isabel Raleigh. Lydia Lim. Chandler Duff. Caitlin Kim. Lazaro Castellanos. Jennifer Kim. Anna Smith. Nicole Rosiak. Madeline Vergara. Annie Heinen. Nicole Macalino. Kalina Benamu. Ka Kalina Benamu. Sophia Kaplan. Olivia Elgard. Alex Stadhouse. Maximilian Gomez. Amanda Puzolto. Allison Tam. Devin Copeman. Jordan Bamberg. Courtney Moore. Nadia Alualia. Ava Court. Julia Tribolet. Charlotte Hickey. Lane Peterson. Ashley Cho. Natalie Auerbach. Jessica Rocha. Charlotte Hickey. Anna Yarmovich. No, Ashley, Ashley Cho. Julia DeSantis. Olivia Mosler. Carmen Bosnick. Mia Matti. Talia Auerbach. Sin Jun Oh. Crystal Alexandra Silva. Sydney Johnson. Laura Calero. Hannah Noiser. Justin Marks. Catherine Gilman. Sadie Acosta. Charlotte Blake. Zarir Taylor. Onward and upward. Logan Burgess. Trisha Kwan. Henderson. Shinrehi Wang. Haley Tawil. Shinyi Zhang. 
Nicolette Warren. Chutong Song. Sean Wang. Mingja Chen. McKenna Turner. Jessica Zahai. Ming Jia Chen. Bryce. Sorry. Bryce Levinson. Jessica Zai. Noah Kim. Francesca Zhang. Kelly Kim. Okay. Allison Hannah. Ho. Oh, I'm, so oh, I'm so sorry. Hannah Cho. Sorry. Allison Ho. Jun Hyun Lee. Preston Long. Celeste Mora. Colby Martin. Ronia Valto. Oswaldo Morales. Joseph Arbolis. Ariana Prowell. Kennedy Snyder. Kaylee Danielian. Cassie Yako. Cammie Davis. June J. Lee. Kasing Huang. Raycoon Hao. Paylin Chen. Sean Ryan Ho. Jujan Wei. Nishakarn Kupira. Helena Orden. Rahul Reddy. Madeline Broad. Lily Johnson. Jordan McGee. Richard W. Tarpey II. Christian Ojeda. Joseph Skinner. Aaron Valencia Hernandez. Emma Weiner. Jordan Trester. Paige Arredondo. Thomas Ling. Viviana Cow. Casey Marchak. Kyler Sakamoto. Sophia Smith. Chance King. Isabel Raychert. Richard. Mariana Ramirez Garcia. Giovanna Hoffman Peter. Audrey Kono. Mani Shin. Mani Shin. Amanda Lee. Marie Park.
Jason Sterels. Vivian Wu. Sharon Joe. Sharon Joe. Dai Zhu Wu. Shabing Tian. Chloe Miller. Lauren Milstein. Shen Yu Zhao. Shu Wen Kitty Zeng. Shu Wen Kitty Zeng. Ru Yi Tang. Joshua Kehiloo Follow. Joseph Litwin. Jade Pilar Bolton. Cross Day. Emily Gao. Emily Gao. Jessica Wu. Cameron Robinson. Cameron Robinson. Jaren Valdry. Mason Wise. Let's give a round of applause for all of our Bachelor of Communication graduates. And congratulations to all the graduates here today. Please welcome Annenberg Dean Willow Bay back to the podium. Okay, now I'm supposed to say something other than congratulations and watch the stairs. Um, congratulations, graduates. Before we conclude, I'd like to thank Shauna Thomas for joining us and Rachel Scott for those words of inspiration. We're so fortunate to have them with us today. I would also like to invite you all to Party Lawn to celebrate. Um, this marks the official end of the commencement program. Graduates, those of you who are still here with your tassels on, may move the tassels to the left. And I now christen you Annenberg alumni. Congratulations and see you at the party.